Number 8. This 1958 Jefferson Nickel Proof. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Each side is brilliant and starkly contrasted, with liquid-like mirrors and satiny devices. An essentially flawless coin. This is single finest specimen reported by PCGS. It was sold for $7,200. Number 7. This is 1952 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 Full Steps. According to Heritage Auctions, only about 12% of all Mint State PCGS submissions for the 1952 D. Jefferson Nickel have been designated as Full Steps. Rings of blue, green, yellow, and rose-violet toning surround untoned centers. There are predictably few marks, and the impression is razor-sharp. We note two specks of aqua residue on the obverse one in front of the forehead and another below the star between Liberty and the date. It was sold for $8,400. Number 6. This is 1964 Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D over D graded in mint state 65 plus. The repunching on the D is plainly visible beneath a loop on this popular cherry pickers variety. This high-end gem is sharply struck in most areas, save for on the steps where slight softness is seen. A few small marks on Jefferson's cheek limit the grade. Brilliant and appealing. It was sold for $9,000. Number 5. This is 1944 P. Jefferson Nickel struck on a steel scent planchet. Graded as EF40 by PCGS. An originally preserved example, both sides exhibit ruddy pewter and olive gray patina that is lightest at the high points where a trace of wear has resulted in the EF40 designation from PCGS. The strike is flush to the right border on both sides, the left peripheral devices mostly off the planchet, but the date area full and the P mint mark also sharp in the upper reverse field. Those design elements that are fully present are suitably bold for the assigned grade, and the surfaces are generally smooth and pleasing in appearance. Due to the brevity of the wartime silver alloy Jefferson Nickel series of 1942 to 1945, major mint errors involving these issues are rare and eagerly sought by specialists. The present example is associated by date with the famous 1944 steel Lincoln cents, cousins to the even more famous 1943 bronze cents, which are both legendary wrong planchet errors in their own right. It was sold for $9,600. Number 4. This is 1940 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1940. Graded as PR68 by PCGS. This amazing coin has exceptional polychrome toning especially vibrant on the obverse. The devices are sharply rendered, and the pristine fields are deeply mirrored. It was sold for $10,062.50. Number 3. This is 1961 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS-64 condition with full steps. An important strike rarity in the Jefferson Nickel series, the 1961 D is seldom encountered with five or more visible steps leading up to the porch of Monticello. Both sides are satiny and fully lustrous with lovely champagne toning. It was sold for $11,162.50. Number 2. This is 1941 Jefferson Nickel Proof. The Philadelphia Mint produced 18,720 proof sets in 1941, and most of the nickel coins were sharply struck, attractive examples. That being said, Few specimens can match the quality of this magnificent PR-68 Jefferson nickel. Some nickel proofs of this date display planchet roughness on the portrait, but this specimen shows smooth surfaces throughout. The design elements exhibit razor-sharp definition, including the six full steps on Monticello. Perhaps the most appealing aspect of this coin is the vivid, iridescent toning that mingles shades of ice blue, pale green, and violet in a fascinating visual treat. It fetched a sum of $14,950. Number 1. And this is 1942 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS-66 condition with full steps. Another repunched D over D variety. The 1942 D is considered nearly, if not equally, as scarce as the 1939 D by noted Jefferson Nickel Bernard Nagingist. With the coveted D-slash-horizontal D mint mark, the 1942 D is the unrivaled series key issue. Together with the full steps designation, this premium gem nickel becomes an unsurpassable registry set coin and the capstone of a fine nickel collection. In terms of surface quality and eye appeal, this example excels as well. Bright peach gold toning at the margins surround the lustrous, largely untoned portrait of Jefferson. The reverse is equally lustrous with dappled peach gold and pale blue shades. 
It was sold for $17,050.43. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Take care. God's will, until the next time.